Welcome to another episode of Treasure Corals. And those of you who watch this channel know my love for refractometers. Anything that has to do with specific gravity. Um, I have done several videos on the subject and today I'm going to do a product review of this digital refractometer by a company called FJ Dynamics Technology. Um, so let's dive right in. I've shot several videos on digital refractometers that I'm going to link below, but this is something new. I haven't seen uh, this particular device before and uh, the company has approached me. They sent this to me for free. I'm not getting paid for this review and I'll try to be as unbiased as I possibly can. So this is a pretty similar technology to the Milwaukee and HANA ref digital refractometers. These are the ones that I like the most. I don't like the ones that use conductivity for uh, measuring specific gravity, but uh, this particular unit is just as if somebody took the large refractometer and shrunk it into the most possibly small um, size. It's a tiny unit. Um, I'm really happy to see that you can charge it with a USB-C. So uh, I think starting with 2021, all of the uh, digital devices should be using USB-C for charging and that comes from an Apple guy. Um, just one button, it has the same um, idea where you can just drop um, one drop of uh, your water and you press a button and then it's going to give you measurement. It also pairs with an iPhone app that we are going to take a look at. Now, unfortunately this is not uh, designed around our reefing hobby. Uh, this particular unit is probably more about measuring bricks and if you are uh, making an espresso or you are doing something with vinegar um, or beer, probably this is what you want to be doing or canned uh, fruit. However, um, I think you can easily use it for uh, salinity. It does have a measurement called salt but um, really this just gives you a percentage and we're going to take a look how that compares to the other two refractometers that I have, the HANA and uh, Milwaukee. So we can see we've launched the app um, and before we're going to measure, let's just uh, take a look at a few options here. You have an ability to export data. In this case, I haven't taken any recent data. Uh, you can play around with uh, degrees, uh, so Fahrenheit and uh, Celsius. Um, I think this is something you want to do whenever you are measuring salinity with any optical refractometer. It will give you temperature, so this is a pretty cool thing. Now, the more interesting part here is you can probably do more than one count. Uh, this is something I haven't seen before. But if we go to the things that you can measure, you will see that um, you have options of doing bricks. You can do coffee, uh, they call it salty, but um, this is the measurement that we are going to pick. Um, there's brewing, I would prefer that. Um, and you can even do honey. So let's take a look at uh, measurement of uh, salinity and um, see this unit in action. This digital refractometer comes in this little box. There are some instructions. Um, it also says that it has passed through uh, quality assurance and you get a warranty card. You also will get a little microfiber, which I think is always something nice to have around the house. And you get the lanyard. which is pretty handy if you want to carry it on you. Uh, maybe this is something you want to have on you all the time. You've got USB-C to USB-A over here. Um, now, I wish it, this was just USB-C to USB-C, but I have too many cables anyway, so I'm not going to use it. Now, what I really liked was those two little pipettes. Uh, they are really tiny. Usually you get a lot bigger, but this is pretty minuscule. 
So we might use them for our test. What I will be comparing this unit to is going to be not one, but two HANA refractometers, which I absolutely love. This is my gold standard. And I also have my trusty Milwaukee refractometer. Now we could really geek out and use uh, every single refractometer that I have uh, around the house, but I want to compare apples to apples. In this case, they all work on the same principle. So that is what we will do. So I've already cleaned them. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset them or calibrate them with uh, zero water. So why don't we take this um, RO water over here I'm going to power each and every unit, including this little guy. And we'll start by applying this water, which is zero TDS, there's nothing in it, on all three refractometers. We'll also give it time to adjust to the water temperature. So now that it's adjusted, I'm pressing zero here, zero here, and zero here. Now that I've applied calibration to all three refractometers, I'm doing the same with uh, this portable refractometer. And the way it works is you press once and then you hold. So we're gonna do it right now. So press and hold. See it says zeroing over here, and done. And now that I've dried all of the units out, I will apply real test water from one of my aquariums on all of the units. So once again, I'm taking my time. Oh, a little bit clumsy. There's the second one, and the third. The reason I'm taking my time here, I want the temperature uh, to calibrate. And now let's uh, actually measure. So pressing read here, read, read, and you can see all of them read 35, um, or the two Hannes read 35, uh, the Milwaukee reads 34. Press measure to see what the reading will be on this unit and you can see that it measures at 3.5 percent which is exactly the 35 parts per thousand on the two HANA units. So in my opinion this is very very close you still have to do conversion but I don't see how uh, this company cannot make some uh, changes to the firmware and um, basically update the software to give readings in parts per thousand or maybe even specific gravity but in any case uh, what you see here um, is that the unit appears to be very accurate and now if you um, try to do this more than one time let's actually try doing it three times so pressing confirm and i'm pressing the uh, measuring button let's take a look at what happens next so I think it's measuring, measuring, measuring. And now it gives me probably the average of three measurements. So that's a pretty cool uh, neat feature that um, kind of maybe checks for any inconsistency with a single measurement. So I do like this part as well. Um, there's still nothing on the data, but if I press uh, save button um, now, Maybe it's going to be there, and here it is. So the temperature was 23.5 degrees. Uh, this is my um, measurement, 3.52%. And you can see that it is actually pretty accurate with the two HANAs. So that's a win in my book. So I did find a pretty significant issue, which I hope the company will uh, fix in the near future. And that is when I'm using the device, the button on the device itself to measure uh, salt, it will measure it in bricks, which is not what we want. We want salinity. So if I've got it paired to the iPhone and I'm pressing the button here, you'll see that it will 
measure in bricks and then convert it to salt, which is what we want. Now, if, even now that it knows that I want salt, when I press the button, it'll convert back to bricks, which is not what I want. So hopefully the company will address this when they target it more towards us uh, reefers. So this wraps up our review of FJ Dynamics Technology Refractometer. Um, and if you compare this to something as large as this, and if you think that it is as accurate or similar uh, to this nice uh, desktop unit, you've got the power and portability in your pocket. Um, I do like this. Um, I think I'm going to use it uh, a lot and uh, I already have been using it on all of my tanks. I'll probably want to have a few more of this just uh, lying around the house. Um, once again, I'll link uh, to this website uh, below so you can actually check it out for yourself. I do like the USB-C on this unit. I do like the software. I think the software can be improved by adding uh, reef related options in here just to make it a little bit easier. I actually already let the company know. Uh, hopefully they will listen. But overall pretty awesome. Um, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching and see you next week.